due to my previous work at other smelters, I knew what to expect, what areas would be more problematic than anything else. So that's what I went into initially was to take a look back at that whole thing. Uh, one of the very first things I found in the work uh, from the EPA was their historical work that was done by a contractor out of Phoenix um, completely missed the smelter aspects. Uh, there are four actual smelters there. They completely missed where three of the previous smelters were located. Um, the report that was put in 2016 by the EPA basically ignored where the three other smelters were. They came back, oh, we don't know where this stuff was or what it would belong to. Even though I had presented that information to them, they completely ignored it because it wasn't done through their contractors. But there's four different smelters that were done out and through that area. The Agua Frio smelter has never been investigated by the EPA. The Valverde smelter, they have a couple samples and they say, oh yeah, they're hot, we don't know what it's from. The uh, Arizona smelter, same situation. Almost all the work has been solely on the current footprint of the smelter that operated uh, after the, essentially in, in the late 1910s.